Today I felt really comfortable, man. I felt, uh, felt like I was a brand new person out there running around. Bradley Chubb says he'll be ready to go come September. And finally, another chance to see him and Von Miller play together. We got that bad taste in our mouths and want to make sure that we do everything in order to, to maximize this opportunity we both have. We're playing with each other and uh, we're going to do it big. Hello and thank you for joining us here on Broncos Camp Daily. I'm Phil Milani alongside Eric Dalala and Sidney Jones. Day five here at UC Health Training Center. Eric, let's start with your observations. Yeah, Phil, well, you kind of hit on one of them. Seeing Bradley Chubb out there was a big deal. Nice to see him do a little bit of seven on seven, a little bit of 11 on 11. An encouraging sign, but the big star of the day was definitely Teddy Bridgewater. Started the day off very first pass, 50 yard bomb to Deontay Spencer. You like seeing that and then a couple incompletions, but then did not have another pass hit the ground. The rest of practice really efficient. And unlike the other day when we saw a bunch of checkdowns today, he took some shots down the field. Jerry Judy found him for a 45 yard gain, had a couple other throws down the field, one to Cortland Sutton. So we've heard Vic Fangio say, can't just be checkdowns. You need a nice mix. We saw that from Teddy Bridgewater today. And the other thing, Phil, Pat Sertan finally gets on the board with an interception. It made a really nice play in seven on seven, showed both instinct and in being able to read Drew Locke's eyes. And then the other thing, great athleticism to be able to stop on a dime, change direction and make that play. So uh, a really good thing to see from the first round pick. Yeah, the rookie uh, playing well so far, Sydney, uh, like Eric mentioned, his first interception, it was just a matter of time. It was, Phil. I've been waiting for it since day one of training camp. We finally saw it today. It was a great play, like Eric mentioned. And, you know, Pat really seems like he's picking up this defense pretty fast. Even Coach Fangio said today that he's been able to play in, you know, different situations, different positions on the field, which Vic said is pretty rare for a rookie to be able to do that. And while he hasn't perfected that yet, you know, he's on the way. And for Pat, that's it's huge because – he can add on to different areas of this team and overall make this team better whenever they, wherever they need him. Big expectations for Pat Sertan being the first round pick, and we finally had a chance to catch up with him after practice. You know, I'm just out here controlling what I can control at the end of the day. Um, you know, I'm just looking forward to playing this season with my teammates and, you know, just building on that, you know, and just playing my game and, you know, just being the best player I could be. It's funny, you hear hearing from guys like Sertan or even Jerry Judy last week, these Alabama guys, they say these practices out here don't really compare to that Alabama practice. You think you could handle it? Yes! <laughs> no. I, I think a lot of that is a CBA, Phil. If Vic Fangio wanted to design a really tough practice, he could do it. You'd be, you'd be scared. Yeah, but at least uh, it's not humid out here. It's, it's a dry. Dry. Heat. That's true. It's a dry heat. The altitude, though. <laughs> that is true. That's what uh, Sertan mentioned here today. Uh, we also heard uh, Sydney from another rookie today, Javante Williams. Yeah, Phil, we did. I like what we've been seeing from Javante. seems like he put in a lot of work this offseason. You know, he's here to get to work, and he really wants to be that all-around back. He said he went back to North Carolina during the break and focused a lot on catching. Um, said he wants to be more than just the one-dimensional back that a lot of people are saying that he is but it'll be exciting to see him with the pads on tomorrow see how physical he can be and I know he's really excited about it um, just just because that's real football I feel like out here you can get better like without pads on but I just like like just being physical and things like that and um, I feel like the real football start tomorrow yeah it'll be exciting to see uh, Javante Williams with those pads on because we know that guys just bounce off him so we'll see a, a little more physicality out there tomorrow. Let's wrap things up, Eric, here with a quick look at injuries. Yeah, Phil, well, you already mentioned Bradley Chubb in his injury update. A few other guys, Tyree Cleveland, missed practice on Monday. Bruised backside, shouldn't keep him out long, according to Vic Fangio. Josie Jewell, though, he's going to miss a little bit more time, at least 10 days, it sounds like, with his groin injury. Then finally, Baron Browning, the third-round pick. We've heard some about him. A little bit stuck in his recovery, according to Vic Fangio, but said when he turns the corner, he should be able to get on the field quickly. Sounded like Monday was doing a little bit better, so hopefully we see him out here soon. Big opportunity for Justin Stranod with uh, Josie Jewell out here for 10 days, so we'll see what happens. Finally, the pads come on day six. We'll see the pads out here tomorrow. That's going to do it for us. For Sydney Jones, Eric Thaw, I'm Phil Malani. This has been Broncos Camp Daily.